1976, an experimental electronic album appeared on RCA Victor by a French library experimental jazz avant-garde musician who, unlike most people who were doing library music for labels like Patchwork during the 70s, he wasn't born in 1912 thereabouts. He was actually more, oh, just within the typical age of musicians of his ilk. He had played in Magma on their first three albums. He had played in Perception, a French jazz rock collective. I am talking about Teddy Lassery. And from his 1976 RCA Victor release E equals MC Square, the track Birth of a Galaxy. So far, a repetitive note, but um, why? Oh, something was coming to mind, just. <sighs> I was about to say, momentarily, Baba O'Reilly was crossing my mind. It just needs, you, you needed something to, to circle around it, like... And by the way, same influences. Baba O'Reilly was influenced by Terry Riley, and this is obviously influenced by music of that sort. Steve Reich, maybe. Yeah, uh, playing that one note and just adding like a don't. We're we're going to start adding layers and just kind of violating the the underlying structure. One of those pieces, I think, where the first, uh, the the second thing they add, kind of sounds kind of jarring amid the underlying repetition, but the more they start to add, the more things start to take shape and... and... Now that third thing they're adding, that he's adding, I, well, I guess this is a one-man show, it is, is jiving. Yeah, that... I wonder what he's creating that sound on. Flute. Okay, what am I hearing so far? I'm hearing like arpe arpe arpeggiated keyboard. I'm hearing, or like tremolo or something. I'm hearing glockenspiel, and I'm hearing flute. And maybe harpsichord. Dun. Yeah, I think that's a harpsichord, that dun. Already, I mean, a little bit of Mike, or no, uh, maybe Jade Warrior influence, I guess. The f I, I guess that's what's coming to mind, because flute within the context of minimalism. Okay, um, sort of a, a Mike Oldfield, um, David Bedford type vibe is, is coming on. I like that, how they, it rises just half a step. Kind of foreboding. that echoing <laughs> 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 
Now there's sort of like a kind of icy sustain that's kind of creeping in. Hear that? There's like, I got, I, I'm losing count of all the layers here of just the keyboards alone. I think there's like four of them. And I think that he is playing every single darn thing on here. Um, let's see. Piano, electric piano, uh, clavinet synthesizer, arp. Marimba, flute, soprano saxophone, clarinet, percussion, Ted Lazary, who also produced the album. Yeah, this is a one-man show. Um, yeah. Uh, Jenny Top appears on another song, on two of the songs on the album, and that guy, oh, that percussionist guy, Andre, uh, I've never tried to pronounce his name before. Seccarelli uh, appears on two of the tracks. I love the dark, spooky sustain. Bum. Oh, here the, uh, the, the glockenspiel is taking on more of a melody now. Now we've got another melody going. We've got like a counter melody. Uh, we got a glockenspiel melody, and then we got a counter melody going on over the... And, and that whole thing, that whole, like, um, ar ar arpeggiated thing that we were hearing at the beginning has just remained throughout. It's, it's, it has not wavered, it has not changed keys. Now it's really starting to take shape as like a fully formed piece. That's minimalism. You just start out with one instrument playing one note, and then you add some off kind of accent after so many bars. And then after another so many bars, you, you add like a, you add kind of like a fugue or something. And then after like another, I don't know, 16 bars or something, you add a second kind of counter fugue and then, and then at some point you change one of the cadences or something over while keeping the underlying thing going nonstop repetitive. And then eventually it just starts to take this dense composition. <laughs> that bomb 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 so, you know I, of all the things I guess at this point this is kind of reminding me of, of Dion Bregent I did a video on them a few months ago from Quebec Oh God, I just love the, um, the the changes, the complexity that this has taken on. It's like got the sort of uh, hypnotic vibe of ele the electronic music that was coming out at the time, yet there's a bit more complexity. And, and since it's working with both electronic and acoustic instruments and organic percussion. I do kind of 
wonder what uh, effects pedals he may have been using for some of these sounds. I love that sound. I'm hearing, I'm hearing kind of a loopy sound. Hear that? A slightly bleepy, blippy sound. Yeah, it, 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 I love how the, the tinkly sounds are, are just sprinkling over that, that persistent uh, note that, that's just ran throughout. And so things kind of just uh, rescinded back to that basic P, uh, part that was like, you, you know, that, that um, some of the density subsided, but um, it was a little bit fuller nonetheless toward the end. Yeah, that was uh, Birth of a Galaxy by Ted Lazary. Let's hear another track from the album, Earth. Once again, kind of a one note start up. Throw in some like echoey xylophone. Piano and xylophone, I love that combination. tinkly little hole like <laughs> this kind of sounds like like soundtrack music to uh to a suspense movie from the time period i'm looking forward to where how dense this might get Spoiler alert, I don't think there's any, there, there aren't really any, like, super intense passages on this album. It maintains this kind of ominous feel. It almost sounds like something dropping and bouncing up and down. Or like a ball going down the stairs or something. Like a marble. I love how, how the changes, how the development is so subtle. Now we've got that little fast fill. Getting really f thick and full here. I, I have to say this, uh, I don't know. This doesn't really sound much like the the band, like the most famous band that he played in. But um, at the same time, uh, it almost sounds kind of like a like an ambient equivalent of of that style. Okay, here's my my banal simile. If um, 
brain, you know, and magma were to somehow <sighs> collide, this might be the <sighs> the offspring. Something like this might emerge from the wreckage. And just when I was like trying to contrast this to his work in Ma to his involvement with magma, I'm now hearing what could be described as an earth base. Um, no, this is not one of the songs that Jenny Top appears on. Because um, according to the credits, they, they don't credit Ted Lazary with bass. I'm thinking um, Jenic Top must be on this one too. Yeah. tinkly little uh, oh uh, percussion is also kind of reminding me of some moments on that Roger Roger album that's more like it kind of like a cross between Roger Roger and magma Now this has taken on a real fullness. We've got that that smolder that kind of smoldering bass that or that kind of simmering low bass putting out these sustained thick underlying notes and we've got the tinkly elements just you know <laughs> Yeah, the bass just kind of circling around at the low end um, and while le leaving kind of like this bottom thickness while you know little piano here like more of kind of like a piano figure going on with some tinkly high notes and some percussion like mallets <laughs> Basically in C. Yeah, this whole thing has been in C. Or maybe C7. It doesn't feel forced to place B flat on that. Yeah, that was Earth by Ted Lazary from his 1976 album E Equals MC Square. Yeah, just uh, exploring um, the art of silent deconstruction, or you could say of silent or quiet construction from Bare Bones. And mostly a one-man band, aside from Jenny Top, who... Is credited on a couple of tracks, not that last one, but I do believe he was heard on it anyway, just regardless of what Discog says. Um, yeah. Anyway, for more Rubies and Sapphires from Ted Lazary and uh, other artists associated, you know, that he's played with and such, see the directory of albums by French artists linked in the description below. Over um, eleven, over ten hundred albums currently in that directory. So everyone from Magma and a whole bunch of things that he's worked with, a whole bunch of things on the Patchwork label, the Sun Image label, yeah, numerous uh, library recordings from the era. 
Like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard, the layers, the notes, the instrumentation, the little tiny details and all. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear travel trail maximalist, signing off.